Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Express and Start Studio Gallery with a 12 inch canvas and an impossible to focus. There we go. It needs something other than a black canvas. So I've got some black paint to move, to, to use up. That's a dog here that's embedded. And I've been thinking about doing little puddle pours and letting them run together but using my Amsterdam Black with pre-stained wood conditioner in it from Minwax cell activator as a catalyst and the colors that I just used worked out really well so I'm going to use them again and they were the silver is from Arteza Actually, I didn't. I don't believe I used any of this because it's not open. Nope, maybe I did. Oh, you know what? I want some of that. I need is white metallic. That makes a huge difference, especially in between. Yeah, that'll make me. Because a lot of times the brighter colors, like the purples and the pinks, for me at least. They seem to require the Anita's White Metallic, or maybe I've just been using it for that purpose so long. I am trying to finish up some paints that I have. So this is an iridescent plum from Arteza, and I'm not sure how much I can still get out of there. And if I can't get it out, I'll use something else, like the actual purple flash that it looks like. But cool, we got it. can't help it. <laughs> I want it all. Alright, so I used a little bit of this Anita's White Metallic here, there, and everywhere just to change up the combinations. This will probably come out entirely different. I can definitely put some more colors on top of that. Let me look behind me and see what the colors are. Okay, I've got... Oh, the amethyst. I almost forgot the amethyst. I don't want to do that. This is uh, Artist Loft Amethyst. That I have to make some more of, evidently. I have no idea how this is going to work. But I do have paint that I need to use up. is a little gloppy. And I'm going to try, first I'm going to try to blow into it with a straw. Then I think I'm going to grab my little bottle of Amsterdam white that also has some pre-stained wood conditioner mixed into it. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just got water. I think it's got four parts Floatrol and one part Amsterdam white. My desire is to go ahead, you know what, I'm going to give that a quick torch. Get rid of some of the bubbles. I'm going to look at my colors and I'm going to decide that I want some of my Venetian blue. Because I can, the name of my first book, next to my second book. On the Amazon link, I don't think I got every single bubble. 
All right, so I'm not sure how far I can roll, but I am sure that if I use more black paint that I need to use up anyway, that I can definitely tip this. And then I can come back this way. It's really tempting to put the white in on, one, on the other side, which is probably just something I want to do for another time. And I'm just going to keep tipping these back and forth and see what comes. So I haven't really done this exact thing. How far can we get it to go? And do we want to try and find an edge catcher? Yes! I definitely want to do that. Because if I dump paint off, I'd like to be able to retrieve it. So let's just keep moving with the design. And if I find that I have puddles of color and I want to change things up, I will. I'm, you know what? I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to put some Anita's white metallic in. I'm not going to put it in one steady line. If it works on one side, maybe I'll do it on the other. Strictly a day for experiments. I probably could have surrounded that with some black. But I'm liking what I'm seeing anyway. They're odd shapes and I've been sort of craving odd shapes ever since I did an odd shape thing. I'm going to put another line of black because I've got it to use. I'm going to use the white to draw the color down to that line of black because I can. I might even go the wrong way first and then the right way. I kind of expect that to all fill in. The thing is I don't know if I want those drips or not yet. I don't think a little trip to the end will hurt anything. I'm going to rock it and cover my edge. Perfect. That blue is kind of neat. I've got dry canvas at the top and the bottom. And I think I'm going to give myself a little more of that white because I like these marks better than I thought I was going to like them. They look like people when you do that. <laughs> Give them little heads. Makes me want to put black across that top. This top where my thumb is. I like anything that I can take advantage of the fact that the paint wants to drip. So I'm really curious. To blow into those drips. So they can sort of meet up with what's next to them. And now all I want is that purple. And I just came to that conclusion, and I hope I have enough. Because it seems like I'm running low. So it might be just a one-sided purple outline. I 
going to leave that so it starts to drain the purple down to the tip. Let's see if I can pull that purple down in. Yup, I can. And I like it. A lot. <laughs> so this is flying by the seat of your pants, composing. Makes me want to put blue on the other side. Sorry about the dark. Maybe I can change that. I kind of want to take that paint off of there. I'm going to use it because I can. And if you don't tell, nobody will know. I like making weird art. <laughs> it makes me happy. I don't know why I did that, but I'm going to do some more of it so that I have a chance to make it look a little more cohesive. This is a silicone hair tool. It's on my Amazon link. If you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. And you'll find all kinds of cool tools there that I stuck there. Some I haven't tried, but most I have. Well, a lot I have. There's definitely stuff there I haven't tried yet. I can't do, I can't buy everything. Other people are doing it though. Seems to be an awful lot of pouring people who are very, very good at teaching you guys how to use beginner methods, and I'm just not in that zone right now. Although, this could be a beginner method. I kind of want them to look like trees, and that doesn't make any sense at all. But I can also wreck things if I want to. I just want to make something really different. With strange textures at all different levels and a differ differentiation of colors too. Might come back with a skewer and put some spirals in. I like using the colors that are there. There. That's kind of neat. Not sure if I should have done that as uniformly as I did, but it's done now. I can use my little hair tool to smooth color across my bottom, too. Let's find a skewer. Put a few spirals right in there. Because I can. If you drag a little other color in from next to one, you get a better spiral effect. And that's fun. I just like spirals. I, I know they're kind of cutesy and maybe even a little cliche at this point, but I don't think I care. much as it sounds like I might. All right, that's mostly a design. That white spot in the middle is making me, okay. That's gotta go. Okay, the waggles worked. Someone is speaking to my answering machine and I cannot hear them. 
Yes, I did. I dotted. Makes me want to steal dots of every color. Why should I not? Some reason they don't have to. Excuse me, I'm recording. Almost done. Yes, I know, I thought I'd stop too, <laughs> but I didn't. All right, I have no idea what it is, but it's beautiful as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Tell you guys I love you, ask you for a thumbs up, remind you if you share my videos, you help me out, and that would be great. If you want to help me the most, watch the videos all the way through, or purchase an artwork. You can find my email address if you'd be interested in purchasing an artwork underneath the link tree, which is the first blue link under the video. You can also inquire about taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I'm loving these colors. So I don't know what kept me from using the silver for so long. It's absolutely gorgeous with the pink and the purple. And adding those random dollops of white and tipping until I got something I like was, was pretty charming. All right, so what else can I tell you? I have the gallerist is the top link on the link tree, and it has some very, select, very selective of my designs added to beautiful dresses made in Montreal as well as kimono tops and other investment quality clothing that I would love for you to have a look at. Um, it's definitely something people have enjoyed when they've made the purchase. So what else can I tell you? I have more clothing <laughs> and it is on the, the spring clothing is the clothing you see below the video. And if you click on anything that you see there, it'll bring you to a shop that'll show you all the stuff I've posted since I started having a spring shop. And um, if you shop there, it helps me out. Uh, on the link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my website, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More. Totes and More will take you to pixels.com and Fine Art America, where there's over 1,500 items. I did give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. The lessons are private, one-on-one, -on -one, and if you are interested in more information, contact me through my email. You can also ask me questions. If you have questions, and uh, leave them for me in the comments. If you can't get through to me that way, feel free to use my email. That's fine. Um, I have the two books on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is on the link tree because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities are volumes one and two. Thank you for all the donations that have helped keep me painting all this time and continue to keep me painting. Uh, there's a monthly drawing, and you can find the exhibition video on the end screen in the last 20 seconds of every video, and the prizes will be shown in the fir at the very beginning. So, what else can I tell you? My community board has tomorrow's video posted on it. On my YouTube channel, you can find playlists, all playlists, creative playlists, and over 2,000 videos organized by topic, genre, and by the hundred. If you need a link, just ask me. I'll be happy to help you out. What did I miss? My paint pouring recipe is below the video along with my cell activator recipe. And I should zoom in because I haven't. And I got one minute left. So that's kind of cool. I can actually zoom in and show you the combination of spirals and cells and my little tweaks. And what a pretty pattern. I think I'm going to put this on a shirt. Oh, if you ever find something that's not included at spring or fineartamericapixels.com, I can't do it to the gallerist yet, but I can add a design to almost anything. And once you add it, once I post it, it's on everything. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Don't forget the thumbs up. I love you guys. I'll see you when on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.